so this is a new blog I'm sharing a bit what I've been doing these past weeks. I mainly worked on the princess on the pea. You're going to see her. She's not finished yet, but really close. I think she's going to be finished in a few days. I took more time. I also took a few days to visit my family, which I didn't see since the beginning of February. And then there was the lockdown and all that. So I was really stuck in my city as most of us were for almost three months. So it was good to do that. So I've done that these uh, past days. And yes, and I'm mainly going in June to finish. So Princess and the Pea, I need to start to work also on the piece I have to do for an exhibition coming at the end of the year, which is another exhibition by uh, organized by Le Centre des Monuments Nationaux. I did last year the ship for Fantasie pour un Palais, the exhibition they did about Rococo fairy tales, and they have another one coming at the end of the year, which is going to be really nice. I'm not going to say the theme, what I'm doing, all that, but I need to start to work on this piece. This month, it has to be, it is due in November, but I would like to have finished it by the end of the summer, to have finished all my homeworks in advance, that would be really nice. So that's uh, what I plan to do. And I also wanted to say that they have created a Facebook page only for their sort of crazy exhibitions. But they have created a Facebook page where they have put, all, and they are going to, I think, update it with all the photos and videos and things from all the past exhibitions they have done. There was one which was about, I think, of the magical forest, another one which was about cabinet of curiosities, all sorts of things. So um, they are also going to share, I think, the, what's coming. So when it is done. So you can uh, see that. I will put the link of the Facebook page if you are just curious to see uh, what sort of other exhibitions they have done and where they are right now because uh, the thing is oh, most of these exhibitions are still somewhere at the moment. They, are, so they can be seen somewhere in France may, mainly. For, I think for the moment it's mainly in France but they are traveling from one castle to another every year. So maybe when life goes back to normal you could come to see some of these exhibitions. I, I didn't of course create pieces for all of those. I only did one for a long time ago for the big one they did about castles in Paris uh, and the, the last year it was for the Rococo Fairy Tale exhibition. But this year we'll share more about it at the end of the summer. This weekend we also had our very last dollhouse Skype with the ladies who joined at the dollhouse workshop this year. Uh, it is closed for now, the workshop, you, can't, you cannot join anymore till next spring 2021. But they joined and we had some, sort of some live sessions just to help and to motivate a bit uh, ladies to start because it's so important to start at the beginning. Otherwise, if you don't start really in the... When you join the workshop, I think there are very, very, very few ch chances that you will ever finish your dollhouse if you join this year. So for all the ladies who didn't join, well, I'm sorry we didn't meet you because we had a great time. Some ladies are obsessed with dollhouses, with dolls. They share a bit all their collection. They show a bit of their home. It was really great. And when you don't join, of course, you can't see that because I don't recall that. You need to be there. So, well, I hope at least you are going to start your house, even if you couldn't join us. Um, yes, I'm going anyway to share the progress of the ladies who sell me the photos in the workshop newsletter. I don't share that on YouTube, mainly because not everybody is interested in that. But I share all that in my workshop newsletter, which I send every month or every other month. So if you don't see a, a newsletter coming in your, in your email box, it's coming in a few weeks or the month after. And I will share the progress of all the photos uh, people send me, ladies send me, so that you can see that some ladies are, are working hard on their houses.
is my princess on the bee. So far she is not finished yet, although I started her quite a few weeks ago now, but she's not totally finished. I still have to do more curtains. I have a lot of finishes to do even on this side. Uh, on one or two mattresses have not been done. They are on every side of course, so I have done pretty much, I've covered pretty much every side. I still have on her duvet, I have things to, squares also to to fill uh, on the, at the top of the bed. And for her night gown, night costume, she definitely needs more details. So yes, that's uh, that's the princess so far. She's quite big. She's if you compare it with my coffee pot, which is I use as a teapot, which is quite high. She's quite big. She's quite high. So I'm going to finish her. And continue to work on the duvet but there were a lot a lot of paper to paint a lot of details to do like i still have a few things to do also on the on the at the uh, bottom of the bed so yes but she's in yes she's making good progress so, so i think a few more days should be enough to finish her properly so i'm going to continue to work on her and also have some details i want to add here at the top of the canopy um, yes and you will see how completely finished uh, totally totally finished very soon right now to continue to work on my princess and the bee as I have done these past days when I was back from my little Iran escapade uh, to visit my family 
and it's going to arrive on Etsy in a few days so if you are subscribed somewhere or to my blog my newsletter or my social media or that you will see uh, her totally finished and I will for sure show her also in an upcoming video totally finished also now she's I still have quite many things to do even if I already worked quite a lot and I had started her quite many weeks ago but you know sometimes big pieces that take longer than smaller pieces and well when I did the Sleeping Beauty also on her bed it was just the same big work actually it's, she's quite big she's quite a big piece so it's normal that it takes a bit of some time to be finished I will also show you in a few days a monthly favorites which I didn't do for a long time and had a lot of nice things to share including a few things from the Magician Witch Shop secret one you have seen a few glimpses of that so I'm, I'm going to show you what I have found there for now I will leave you here Clochette is just having a sun bath just behind the camera roasting in this late afternoon sun so I'm not going to do like her, I'm going to continue my princess on the bee, but I will see you very soon and I hope you also enjoy a really nice sun sunshine. We had such a lot of rain these past days, so it's good to have a bit of spring sunshine eventually.